time for another treasure hunt Saturday. Yeah, getting our Saturday going. A nice little uh, sleep in, nice relaxing cup of coffee. We've got to do our uh, post office drop here in a few. We'll start here, see if there's anything going, and then we'll check out uh, store number two. Hopefully we'll be able to use our media discount this weekend. I'm hoping for some more stuff today. So we'll take a look. Fortunately, the media looks the same for now, so hopefully in a little bit we'll see something. Well, I was not expecting to find you, Fashion Fever. That's uh, early 2000s Barbie stuff. Is there more? <laughs> I don't see anything right away, but that's crazy. Clown put these on the top shelf of this uh, toy section where kids are around. These things are like 20 pounds. You kill a kid. So I'm going to go put those back in the right section. Like a play school shipper box. It's this little thing. I want 10 bucks. Looks like someone's got it up for 20, but... Not worth grabbing or anything, just kind of weird to see. wonder why it showed up in that condition and not a retail package. Is it a special edition? Morning, miss. Good boy. How are day you? Good time now. Yeah. Afternoon. Good day too. Oh, it is afternoon, huh? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. How are you doing? I'm good. 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 Very well. Yeah. Very well. Yeah. How about yourself? Do I? How about you? You good? Yeah, man, it's my Friday. I can't argue. Sunny out. My daughter's sick again, though, as usual. She's doing what? She's sick again. How is she? Yeah, I thought it was going to be like a 24 hour flu, but. I think kids are fun. always sick. Yeah. Kids are sick. Well, she went to a, People she who to have kids are sick. <laughs> she went to sleep over last weekend. Ah, so uh, okay. Ate but, um, yeah. Yeah, so she got. Did you go back yesterday? Did I tell you yesterday? Yeah. All right, we checked out the Fashion Fever. They want $11.99 for this little dress, so definitely not getting that. They sell for about $25, so put that back. And then I just found this Bratz makeup bag. It's actually brand new um, from 2006, so the makeup's no good, but I'm wondering if it's something a collector would care about. There's particular ones not listed. Equivalents look like they're about 30 bucks, but those are newer ones, so maybe we'll do a little more research. I'm not sure if I want to go 15 on it. Plus, I'm not, not sure what the deal is with it, selling the expired makeup, even if it's just for a collectible thing. So, we'll see. And the Silver Pikachu before, I guess, is from 2021. Must be as, like, electrified version or something. Looks like it's up for about 20 bucks. They want six, but, yeah, just never seen it before. I just, hmm. There is some stuff. Yeah. Yeah, right, right, right. yeah a bunch of them. Yeah. Bunch at once, huh? What's this one? Hmm. Grabbed a few things off the cart. Nothing insane or anything, but I think this might be okay, but it's box is all beat up. There's this thing called an air bank. I'm going to figure out what the heck it's for. There's a car charger. I so thought maybe it had something to do with car stuff. It's a pump. That's for like uh, waterboarding or something? Air inflated? Yeah, it's for some kind of something. I don't know. Doesn't look like anything I want to mess with. For 10 bucks. All right, interesting little first stop. Nothing uh, crazy, kind of like Ross kind of store items. As far as like the toys go, uh, left that Bratz bag. I don't want to even mess with that. It's interesting to see. I probably should have showed you the makeup inside. Not that it's super interesting, just that it's kind of cool that it's new and unused. But anyway, uh, we're going to go to USPS and then we'll uh, hit up store number two. Okay, we made it down to uh, store number two. Parking lot doesn't look too crazy today, so hopefully it's not gonna be too nuts in here. Again, we're looking for media. After talking to uh, 
some of our friends at uh, store number one. It doesn't sound like anyone's doing books there, so probably not going to find anything there. Um, but yeah, hopefully we'll have better luck here. All right, maybe it's looking the same so far, but maybe we'll take a peek in the back and see if anybody's working on it. So. So empty in here because it's uh, such a nice day outside. Could be. Sometimes I feel like that brings more people in here, but yeah, it's definitely chill in there, which I'm not complaining about. A little Lego bag here. Looks like they're all sealed still. Probably not big money, but for three bucks, it's like a little over a buck a piece. Yeah, I think there's three of them, so I'll grab that. We also found this little. Sesame Street thing from 2009. It's only three bucks or 250. So we'll scan it, see if it makes sense at all. Grab this. I scanned it just because I'd never seen it before. It's Ants in the Pants SpongeBob. I haven't opened it up to see what's in there. Only 350. Uh, none listed. One sold for 20 bucks. So since there's no others listed, if it's in good enough shape and everything's in there, it may make sense to pick up say there's none listed by the scan I haven't done the uh, actual search yet just by typing it in so there could be more so we'll do that before we actually buy it this bootleg BB-8 planet BB boy <laughs> that's hilarious yeah gotta love that BB boy it's a vintage home system got the wood grain and everything looks like we got a record player up top dual cassette equalizer these huge freaking speakers too. Oh, this is heavy as hell. Oh, there we go. I wonder how you get into it. I'm trying to lift it. Oh, that's heavy too. 35 bucks. Whew. No, thank you. Buy a Mac. 60 bucks. Kind of dirty. I had to ship one of these one time. It was really annoying. Kind of had to duct tape it down or do something weird because this arm moves around. That was not fun to store for the year or two I had to before it sold. Got a few hundred dollars for it though, so not, in the end it was worth it, but ew, not again. This isn't worth anything, but it's uh, kind of cool. A little tiny home architecture kit, so you can put together pieces and uh, build a little model home. Huh? Kind of neat. Yeah, I did the search for SpongeBob Ants in the Pants, and there are some listed. I don't see any complete, well, one complete for 15 plus it's Canadian now. That's, yeah, it's for a low dollar. Just gonna leave that. This is new, easy to list. Might grab it since it's only 250. Probably could get 20 bucks for it. And then I'll get the Lego, but I think that's it for now. I'm trying to find out if someone's gonna do bucks, but my friend's on break, so I might see what she says. Um, otherwise, might be a quick one here too. Ooh, 100 bucks. What the hell? I'm trying to figure out what this was. Looks like some John Lennon stuff. Why is this out here, though? Looks like a lot of John Lennon uh, singles, like some kind of box set or something that I've never heard of. Might be missing the cover or it goes like this. Yeah, this thing slips out. That's okay. That's weird. I can't believe they want 100 bucks for it. Must have scanned it or something. Looks like even with the uh, coupon, it wouldn't be worth it. The 30% off of this, which would be oh, $66. Yeah. Looks like new condition. They sell for like $85. And this one, uh, it's got the marks on it and stuff. But yeah, kind of shocked they priced it up so much. Maybe someone will pay 100 bucks for it, but not me. Well, we changed our mind on that Sesame Street thing. I did do a look up, and there's a few listed. 20 bucks or so, but some were free shipping. So. Got enough of that little stuff. I don't really need it, including this, honestly. But sealed Lego, I can never walk away from. I'm sure they're all low-dollar ones, but maybe I can sell them together. We'll do a check later tonight. But um, feeling kind of hungry. I was going to not eat until dinner tonight. Got dinner for my buddy's dad tonight 
We're going out to an Italian restaurant. Still deciding whether or not to cheat or not. But um, I might run home and eat, eat something. Because I am feeling kind of hungry. I skipped dinner last night because of my cheat meal at lunch. So, see what we do. Okay, we're going to do one more stop here at store number one before we get something to eat. I was thinking about like running over to PCC and grabbing some soup or something, something light. So anyway, um, yeah, let's see if it's still rocking in here. Got a full cart, full to the brim. Anything popping out though? Can't sell rockets on eBay. Backyard rockets. This one looks a little junky. Could have a media hit. I noticed there's some more uh, movies out. Didn't look like anything super interesting. And there's some more games too. Again, nothing like crazy, but. So someone is doing stuff today. I'll have to take a closer look. Alright, we got a stack of like billboard and time life CDs that I'm gonna look through. Some of them are sealed, so those would be worth grabbing. Got some Rick Steve stuff here too. That's a pretty big set for five bucks. It's not sealed, but still might be good. This set is death. It's not worth it. It's only uh, ten dollars or so, which is kind of crazy because it's like eighty shows, forty hours. Yeah. Yes, PBS. Sometimes it's worth it. Sometimes it's not. Miss this. Hidden underneath the Frogger set. Open play. New in box. This is newer or older. Twenty bucks. Huh? That's about what they go for. Twenty. So leave him. Don't need ya. We just ended up getting the Time Life Teen Years 4 CD lot. Just grab those because they're sealed. We'll get a little bit for them. Maybe get 25 bucks for the set. So, Bye yep. Then. Say, Carla. See you later. So, yep. Now I am starving. <laughs> I haven't eaten since lunch yesterday. So, I'm going to go grab some soup and uh, we'll take a quick break. Watch a little bit of the Cardinals game from last night and uh, head back out. No uh, turkey uh, wedding soup today? Not today. Ah, no, bummer. Sorry. That's okay. I'll have to figure out something else. Yeah. Option today is the vegetable soup. I always get one of these little things too. It makes it easier to travel with. I like a little bit of the uh, ingredients, but I also like the broth too, so I don't pack it too uh, tight. Try and avoid some of those carrots if possible. Not my favorite. The next one we'll just do a little broth. A little bit more. These new lids they've got are a lot nicer than the old ones, so they're pretty well protected, so we can kind of fill it to the brim and be safe. These guys here. They used to have like plastic ones that just sucked. Like these guys. Horrible. Alright. Okay, we're back at it. Just had our lunch break. Feel a lot better now. I think I can make it until dinner time tonight. So, uh, yeah, we got a. Uh, yeah, depending on how much time they're gonna. when they're gonna pull out of here, we're probably got at least a half hour of uh, production time left today. So, parking lot's still kind of full. So, we'll see uh, how busy it is. I'm get some toys right away. Star Wars. It's like some cheap house stuff, unfortunately. Hey, sir. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Oh, yeah. No, no. I don't deal with glass. I'm too uh, clumsy. <laughs> Thank you though, appreciate it. Pop that lantern. Gonna pop. Hidden in the uh, flowers. 
A bunch of Prismacolors. No telling if they're used though. in that wreath there. It's just a uh, Spider-Man one. Yeah, Staples got me again. <laughs> Do what the way the who the what? The preso machine. Yeah, yeah. Someone is looking for it, right? Yeah, but you can reach my Domino's, right? Yeah, I did yesterday. So, it's free, so. I think you got five. Looks like one from, like, uh, you know, the Motel Hotel Holiday Inn. Nice. Hanging out on a Saturday. How about you? Yeah, just working. Just working? Getting it done? <laughs> yeah. Nice. May not be my cart. A little Pokemon flash. I don't think that's anything, but only thing of interest for me on here. Shadow is apparently the name of this guy. Grab this Helly Hansen jacket just because they're supposed to be a good brand. I looked up what the little thing said on the back. Equip. Equip. Looks like they're kind of in the thirty to sixty dollar range. Only thirteen bucks, and could use a forty percent off coupon. But kind of don't want to mess with clothes unless it's a um, you know over a hundred bucks. So I'll probably cut this back. Puzzle time, huh? What? Yeah, puzzles. Lots of puzzles. Of puzzles. puzzles and uh, photo albums. Right. Yeah. Looks like it's going to be one of those days. Not a lot of great stuff coming out. Okay. Oh my god, really? Um, <laughs> and there's some of the older stuff. I've actually been wanting to like read some myself, but... Yeah. I haven't. It's got some Cujo. Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. Some of these old ones are some of the old ones. I know people like. My mom was a huge fan. Oh, yeah. We watched all the movies as a kid. So I love those. I uh, I saw him once. Oh, did you really? Was, we took a trip to Maine. Oh, okay. Yeah. And we were, you know, it has where he lives. Right. Um, and we were turning. Uh, onto his street and there was like a Tesla coming out and there's an older gentleman in the oh my Tesla God. but you know it's something you don't even realize and then like his house is right there the garage door was open yeah and, and the gates were closing we were like, oh my god he, he just went past like drove past oh, wait, did he have the beard or no beard I, it was like one of those things <laughs> where we didn't even realize it was him for yeah. a second we were just we expected to walk out with nothing but we ended up with these uh, Stephen King first editions that will probably lot up together um, the most best one, and I kind of recognize this, I'm, this cover of uh, The Shining. Uh, this is the best one for sure. Um, I've seen anywhere from 50 to hundreds of dollars, so not really sure what differentiates them. I saw one that had a S number that looked like something. I don't know, I'll do a little research, but could sell this one by itself, but I think I'd like to just get rid of them all together. So anyway. That'll do it for today. Um, we might do one more stop, actually, because our uh, dinner tonight is uh, down by store number two. So we may hit that up one more time. We got a little bonus visit tonight at store number two. Um, production has gone home about like an hour and a half after, or maybe two hours after production left. Uh, we're just stopping by because we're birthday dinners uh, across the street from here. So. Uh, I figured might as well do a check-in, see if uh, potentially the media came out or anything. So anyway, we didn't miss any uh, media or anything. So we'll do a quick sweep around the store. Might just kill some time. We still have about an hour before dinner. So I did bring my iPad so I can watch a little 
Maybe catch up on Survivor or something. Uh, what is it, uh, OG? I think it is. I think it's original. Well, that's something. It makes the visit worth it. We even have a uh, HDMI cable. Cool. I'm surprised that's sitting here still. It's 20 bucks, but pretty sure they're still. Uh, I'll have to look up, see what they're going for now. Bulls don't bring out any more pops until these ones sell through. <laughs> I haven't seen any for a few days. Normally we get a, at least a new one a day. All right, well, that was an unexpected pickup. Thought maybe we'd see some media. Kind of surprised to see this just sitting there. But uh, yeah, NES Classic Edition. I think they go for 60 to 70 or something like that. But anyway, I'm going to chill out for a little bit and uh, have some dinner with family and friends. We'll see you guys next time.